Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Agnes. Today I've got another review for you. I'm reviewing the Flat Irons Keratin Protection Remington versus Original Styler from GHD. So this is the box for the Remington and this is the box for the GHD4. Um, this is obviously about 10 years old and uh, this is, I think it's been on the market for a couple of years, uh, but it is fairly new comparing to the GHD. Now Remington, it's an established brand, 1937, it's opened in USA and it's known for its hair and grooming kits. So I thought instead of going for GHD, I want to try something that is cheaper but yet is well established in the market. So I thought I'm not going to spend another £200 or £180 on a straightener. They can be very expensive and I've been wondering, should I get another GHD? Should I get maybe Cloud9 or T3 was another one that I was considering. Um, but I really wanted to check something that is this time maybe from the lower type of budget and see how it compares to my GHD. Uh, now I want to show you the state of my GHD because this straightener has been serving me for probably about 10 years now, if not longer. And it really did worn out. So. This is my straightener. It's probably embarrassing because it's rather dirty. Now. I don't know whether you can see it inside it here, but it has a little bit of a chip. And that chip seemed to be tugging on my hair now. And it's also on this side. It's not really easy to see because they are obviously, you can't open them up and show you. But yeah, it has various chips all over the plates. And this is an indication that it's probably done its useful life. At this point in time, you can still get them for about 90 pounds. So this, they hold a value. It's like Apple phones, right? They hold a value for a very long time. Now Remington here, size-wise is comparably the same. Um, it's got exactly the same size of a plate. So they're both one millimeter. However, the Remington one is a longer plate. If you have a look inside them, side by side the Remington plate is by about a centimeter longer you can actually lock the Remington in place and that will make it not kind of open up so if you wanted to put it somewhere away it would just stay locked and you can unlock it and then it opens up it has a swivel cable so it's easy to use because it just kind of turns like GHD so this is the similar points the cable length, let's check the cables. Yep, it has exactly the same cable length, which is 2.7 meters in both of them. Okay, so I'm going to put it to use now and I will try to do half side with one and half side with the other. Uh, before I begin, I need to put some heat protection. I always protect my hair from the damage because obviously the straighteners do heat up to a high temperature. And I am using one from Poland, but I will link one below uh, that I have previously used. And to be honest, any heat protection would be sufficient enough because you're treating your hair with such a high temperature. I would really recommend you use some kind of heat protection. So you can see how frizzy and like wavy my hair is at the moment. To be honest, I really dislike it. I'm due a haircut actually, so my ends are really damaged at the moment because of see, I always style my hair on a weekly basis whenever I wash my hair, which is about every about five to six days. I tend to style it because I really don't like the way they are. Only when I know that there is nothing happening, maybe I will just let it be for a week the way it is. And yes, some people might say, oh, your hair is lovely and is wavy, but you know how it is. Whenever you have wavy hair, you wanna have straight hair. Whenever you have straight hair, you wanna have a wavy hair. It's pretty much the case that you're never happy with what you get. So you got to switch it on on the side here, and then it will tell you when it comes on. Now, just to compare the like to like, I'm gonna set it at the 185 temperature, which is my other straightener as well just to kind of have like to like. Now this gives you 180, I don't know whether you can see that, or you can select higher setting of 200. Now 180 is closer to 185, so I'll leave it at 185. I will leave it at 185. And you gotta be careful because it is really easy to burn yourself, which I just did. Ouch. 
It never happened with my GHD that I've actually burnt my finger, but it is easily done with this straightener. So here, it is fine. It won't burn you. But if you put your finger too close to here, and those plates are bigger than GHD, they're longer, it is very easy to actually burn yourself. And I've just um, had a little burn here. Never mind, I will live. So yes, also what this thing has is just that kind of heat protection which apparently activates this thing in the middle of here, which helps to um, find out where the heat is in your hair. And if it is too high, it kind of reduces the temperature. That's the kind of technology that I use. So I normally like to have a little brush here and make sure that I keep the hair in place. And I've got it all ready. I pulled my hair. So I did notice that this straightener um, does pull on the hair quite a fair bit. Uh, and this is what my GHD started to do because of the damaged plates. I always try to achieve the full straight at first pass. Sometimes it is not possible. So then I go over with it once again. And the slower you get, obviously the more heat you apply for that one, one section of hair. So I try to be quite fast with it. And then if I have to go over again, I will to kind of make it more sleek if you like. No, because I'm not doing it as I am normally doing it in front of my mirror, but in front of the camera, I'm kind of struggling to see what I'm doing here. I've seen people sometimes straightening their hair and they go over and over and over again, the same section of hair, which obviously is not good for you because you damage your hair more to what you have to. I mean, this is already like pretty high heat applied to your hair, which your hair may not like. What you can guys see it very well. I can see this big building at the back of me. Come closer, baby. Right, so I'm pretty much done with this section. So again, I'm just going to take another section of hair and pin this one up and look crazy. There you go. I don't know whether you can guys see it very well. I, I feel like my hair is not really is not really showing very well. This straightener makes noise. So once you press it, listen to this. this kind of I don't know how to explain it but it does make a little bit of a noise it doesn't bother me it just makes makes a noise it's not something that GHD does but hey right I'm going to now speed it up one side I'm going to move on to the other and this time I'm going to be using the GHD so it has this old kind of on and on button so it doesn't have any fancy display uh, which shows you the temperature is always set to the 185 degrees Celsius and this is pretty hot so yeah but it's definitely giving up this plate because as I can see the sign of use and wear it's a fair wear and tear, I guess. So yeah, let me just now put these away. New hairstyle going on there. All right, so let's start with this one. Again, I'm just going to brush it through. I already applied the heat protection, so I'm not gonna do it again. And just start from here. I don't 
know why I was convinced that this straightener is at 230 degrees but can you see the smoke coming out of it? I think it really does burn my hair. Beside, always when I straighten my hair, especially when it comes to the front of the hair, I'm not too sure why, maybe they're a bit weaker or maybe I press a bit harder because at the front end I want to achieve like more perfect look at the front of my face. Um, there is always some kind of smell behind it. So I can smell that my hair is roasting, which is another thing why I wanted the temperature controlled hair straightener so that I can actually have a control over how high the heat is on my hair. So I can't do it with one pass, but it's just because I'm talking, I'm just not focusing what I'm doing here. And it is a bit harder to actually look in the actual camera when you do it to when you actually look in the mirror. just about okay and the last underneath somewhere well, my hair is very thick which is a good thing in a way but if it's not straightened it just looks crazy I don't tend to bring the iron super close to my scalp because I don't want to burn myself and sometimes I do feel the heat too close to my scalp and it is kind of burning um, so that's why I tend to just kind of keep it a little bit off far away from my scalp obviously when I'm close to the front where you can see but my hair is is wavy it's not super curly so I guess it doesn't really bother me so much I mean, you can see how much smoke comes out of my hair. I am convinced this is 230 degrees because the smoke that comes out of it, it would have been the same in a Remington if I kept it at the same temperature. That five degrees cannot make such difference that one is burning the hair and the other isn't. So I'm pretty sure that this is, that maybe now it's 185 but it used to be 230. Correct me if you, if you know guys whether the old GHD, because this, as I said, is probably about 10 years old. If you've got 10 years old GHD, is your GHD at 230 degrees or 185? And I checked the box by the way and I cannot find it anywhere. I'm pretty convinced that it is higher than 185. I don't know which sections that I do. This is going terribly wrong, like it looks like I don't actually know how to straighten my hair. But I promise you guys this is because I'm trying to film it and I'm looking at the camera as opposed to looking in the mirror. And my hair is getting my eyes. Well, I'm going to put that on a speed uh, time lapse again. So this is the Remington side and this is the GHD side. Now you must have seen how much smoke was coming from my right side, which are treated with GHD. As I said, yeah, right side. And there was virtually no smoke coming out of this side. And I am convinced that this, the old type of GHDs used to be at 230 degrees. This was always what I believed. So to be honest, for 180 degrees and about two to three passes on each hair, I think this is pretty decent result. And this is a decent result too, despite my iron being so old now. But you have seen that my hair has been really um, getting the heat and I can do it with one pass. This is why I am still convinced that this is a higher heat setting to 180 degrees um, because I can manage to just straighten with one pass. Now after, I either go with oil, and I'm gonna try oil on one side. So I'll put like literally one little drop. And on you know, my hair, it's probably gonna be too much for my hair anyway. And I'm just going to do this. 
and I'm going to show you I've got another product that I love using especially if you really want to get that shine in your hair so this is the one side you can see there is still very slight wave to my hair but they are pretty straight to me if I put it on a higher degrees on a high temperature setting this is no longer the case in terms of tugging and pulling on the hair I did experience very, very little of that uh, but there was some as opposed to this glides through your hair very smoothly but I do believe that this tag is due to this I don't know if it's still hot it's still hot due to this thing in the middle so because of this thing in the middle I think it kind of sometimes catches your hair a little and it does not provide a smooth glide but you know one or two hair if it's pulled during the time that you do your hair is really not so bad and as I was going to show you another product which I love using and I will use it on the other side which is this Vela uh, Glim Mist and I will link the products below for you just in case you were wondering what is it so this has no really hold level it's not a hairspray to hold your hair it's a hairspray to make it um, shiny so this is the hair right now and I'm going to spray this And I will use this just to show you how nice and shiny, how nicely and shiny this actually makes your hair look. I really love. You may not see it very well here, but it really does make you make your hair look really nice and shiny. As I mentioned, I've been using this for a ten years this for about a month i bought it about a month ago from amazon again links are provided in the description below if you wanted to check it out yourself this was at the price 44 pounds this is still at about 100 pounds so which one i score more i do love things about ghd that it glides much smoother through your hair and you can achieve one pass straightening so you don't have to really go over twice or three times because I was not sitting in front of my mirror it was a little bit harder for me to do that's why I had to do it two or three times but I can do it with one pass um, yeah so that's the benefit of this what I do like about this one is that you can change the temperature setting so lowers this 160 degrees and it goes all the way to 230 degrees so it does you know wherever you've got really thin hair you probably put it on the lower settings and if you have very thick and maybe very curly hair 230 probably would be better for you so I do like this flexibility that it offers also it has this kind of fancy button which indicates what they call keratin protection i don't know how long is this going to last me if it lasts me even half the time to this it's still money worth spending and i would highly recommend this product if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to high-end product and again remington has been established in 1937 it's a product well known um, from usa they do have a know-how in terms of straightness in terms of hair styling products so definitely remington is a brand that i would um, consider uh, yeah ghd is the leader in terms of hair straightness but if you really have not got 200 or 180 pounds this is a bit obviously old one you probably would go for maybe a higher end product which is platinum or uh, gold styler uh, you would end up paying somewhere on 150 to 200 pounds whereas this costs 44 pounds if you get a deal you can even get it for probably about 40 pounds so definitely do consider Remington if you're ever wondering which flat iron should you get um, and if you do not want to spend too much money go for it because it is a very good product I can highly recommend it so yes I did hope you enjoyed this uh, little comparison here and uh, it, you found it informative if you did like it please let me know in the comment below yeah thank you so much guys for watching and i hope to see you soon take care